Over the next month, this month of June, Pride Month, you and your children, particularly your children, are going to be bombarded with LGBT pride propaganda. Now, if you're not happy with this, if you're concerned, particularly with the pride movement, there is nowhere you can go. You cannot go to your local politicians. They will tell you to shut up. You cannot go to the media. They will tell you to shut up that you're homophobic or racist or whatever. You cannot, if you're living down the country, say, you cannot go to your local sporting organisation that you might be involved with, you know, the GAA, because they've bought into this now. You cannot go to any cultural organisations because they have bought into this. In fact, private or public, there are no organisations, no groups that you can go to. All of these groups will only be concerned to shut you up and to tell you that you are backward, stupid and ignorant. Of course, you could search out some nationalist groups, but, uh, well, they won't do anything for you either. They have been in retreat for a long time. Indeed, many of them now are retiring to the country. They've given up the battle without ever having fought a battle. So if you are concerned if you're angry about having this LGBT pride propaganda constantly blasted at your children and you, if you're unhappy when you see the police going around in LGBT colours, if you're not happy about any of this, well, there is nowhere you can go. Well, of course, there is one place you can go. You can go to your local mosque. Now, if you go to your local mosque, nobody will tell you you're stupid. They won't tell you you're ignorant. They won't tell you to shut up. They will invite you in. And when you get in, they will invite you to the converts. There are a lot of converts in every mosque in Ireland now. People just like you, who had nowhere to go, no one who had listened to them. And, well, there's no point in going to the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church has lost its way a long time ago and they're frightened to have an opinion on anything. So really, there is only one place you can go, and that is to your local mosque. Nobody will laugh at you. Nobody will sneer at you. And as I said, you will find people just like you there. And if you join your local mosque, then over the next weeks, months, years, you'll see more and more people just like you. You see, the, the LGBT movement and the Pride movement they are the recruiting sergeants for Islam in Ireland. I'm sure that the senior clerics, the imams in these mosques, I'm sure that when they kneel down five times a day to say a prayer, they say a prayer of thanks for the Pride Movement and the LGBT movement. Because these organisations are, in large degree, responsible for the growth of Islam in Ireland. So, I mean, if I was a Muslim, I'd be delighted with the LGBT, LGBT movement, because they certainly are great recruiting sergeants. So, don't give up hope. 
And if you join your, mo your local mosque, you will find maybe a week later, two weeks later, when people get to know you, they will tell you. They look you, you in the eye and they will tell you, don't worry, don't worry. We will, we will sort this out. And they will sort it out. Now it will take time, 10, 20 years maybe, not much more than that. So join your local mosque. Happy Pride.